بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده رسول In this set of verses in this session Allah Azza wa Jal addresses uh, some of the cosmic signs See in the first set of verses the first few verses in the in the surah Allah Azza wa Jal swore where he doesn't have to swear subhanahu wa ta'ala but he swore in order to confirm that resurrection account and accountability are going to take place and then Allah Azza wa Jal spoke and gave a, a, a summarized version of the story of Musa with Fir'aun and the set of verses were concluded with the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal destroyed and punished Fir'aun as a way of threatening the Quraysh if they remain in the state of denial and rejection to the message of Muhammad In this set of verses after this introduction Allah Azza wa Jal uh, further confirms his ability to resurrect and create by means of listing some of the cosmic signs uh, of his creation subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal uh, lists them in uh, a question style uh, as a way of rebucking and not as a way of inquiring. Uh, Allah Azza wa Jal says, أَأَنْتُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا أَمِ السَّمَاءِ بَنَاهَا Are you a more difficult creation or is the heaven? He constructed it. Allah Azza wa Jal is addressing the Quraysh who rejected and denied the ability of Allah Azza wa Jal to resurrect after death and asked Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in ridicule saying أَإِذَا كُنَّا عِظَامًا نَخِيرًا Will we come back to life after we become decayed bones? Allah Azza wa Jal asked them Are you more complicated, more difficult of a creation than that of the heaven? Then he said, Banaha. He concluded the verse saying, He, the Almighty, constructed it. And then he gives the details of the construction of the heavens. He said, Rafa'a samkaha fasawaha. He raised its ceiling and proportioned it. Banaha, he constructed it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Precisely in a manner that puzzles the brain of humans. The human brain cannot perceive the creation of the heaven or the heavens with all that it includes. Allah Azza wa Jal constructed it and raised it high as a structure with a ceiling. The ceiling being the sky or the heaven to the earth. And He constructed it subhanahu wa ta'ala without any defect. He's instilled in it or created in it stars that illuminate during dark nights. All of these things are cosmic signs that the Quraysh see with their own eyes. So there is no way of denying. There is no way of belying what Muhammad is saying because they are, they are addressed with things that they can see. They're tangible. So there is no way of rejecting these statements from Muhammad sallallahu In other words, Allah Azza wa Jal saying, is the one who created this magnificent creation, the heaven, with all that it, in, it, it includes, with all the complex structure of the heavens, unable to create and resurrect after creation this weak, small in size compared to the heaven, a human being. Then Allah Azza wa goes further saying, وَأَغْطَشَ لَيْلَهَا وَأَخْرَجَ دُحَاهَا 
and he darkened its nights, talking about the heaven now, and extracted its brightness. When the heaven becomes dark, when the sky becomes dark, that reflects on earth. Earth becomes dark, and Allah Azza wa Jal extracts the light from within darkness, as in some other verses in the Quran, by means of bringing out sun to humans. And then Allah Azza wa Jal goes to another creation. Talking about earth. And after that, He spread the earth. Spreading the earth, meaning leveling it and facilitating it to cultivation. Leveling it and preparing it for humans and animals to benefit from it. أَخْرَجَ مِنْهَا مَاءَهَا وَمَرْعَاهَا Still talking about earth now. He extracted, extracted from it its water and posture. Allah Azza wa Jal caused rivers and springs to gush out from earth as a means of uh, watering plants, people, and animals to drink and benefit from that water. And then... Allah Azza wa Jal goes into uh, a more detailed part of earth, which is the mountains. Allah Azza wa Jal says, and the waljibala arsaha and the mountains he set firmly. Allah Azza wa Jal set, uh, created the uh, mountains in order to stabilize the earth. As Anas, <coughs> excuse me, as Anas radiallahu anhu said, when Allah the Almighty created the earth, it started shaking. So Allah Azza wa Jal created the mountains and rested them on it, so it settled. And all of these things are matters or creation which people can see with their own eyes. This narration, by the way, uh, of Anas is mentioned uh, by Imam Ahmed and Tirmidhi. Ibn Hajar mentioned it in his book Al-Fatih and Al-Diyah Al-Maqdisi classified it as sound. Allah Azza wa Jal says, مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَانِكُمْ As enjoyment, provision for you and your grazing livestock. Meaning, all of this creation, which Allah Azza wa Jal created, was created as a means of benefit, as a means of enjoyment for you and your livestock, for you to benefit from, your animals to benefit from by eating and drinking. Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu, and this is reported by Al-Bukhari, summarized the sequence of creation of the heavens and earth saying, Allah Azza wa Jal created the earth in two days. Then He created the heavens. Then He subhanahu wa ta'ala directed Himself to the heavens and perfected them in two more days. And then He subhanahu wa ta'ala spread the earth and extracted from it water and posture and created the heavens and camels and all of that is in two more days that makes them six as mentioned in one of the verses in surah uh, fussat right so allah azza wa jal created the earth then the heavens and then perfected the heavens and then spread the earth as per the narration uh, of ibn abbas Allah Azza wa Jal says, لَخَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ خَلْقِ النَّاسِ The creation of the heavens and the earth is greater, is more complicated, is more difficult in human scale than the creation of man. Again, as if saying, the one who creates this complicated creation is certainly 
able to create man and able to put him to death and able to resurrect him and hold him to account. See brothers, when we reflect upon the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal, we see the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jal in this creation. We see the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal upon us because He subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything and subjected that to our benefit. Out of mercy from him upon us subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does this do or what should this do? It should directly work on our hearts and therefore increase our faith in Allah Azza wa Jal. We feel the greatness of Allah. We sense, we appreciate the bounties of Allah Azza wa Jal and therefore when one of us attempts or even thinks about disobedience when one thinks about doing something that's displeasing to Allah Azza wa Jal that is contrary to his commands or thinks about giving up on an obligation which he's obliged to do he thinks once twice thrice many times before he actually does so and this is the intended objective behind Allah Azza wa Jal or one of the intended objectives behind Allah Azza wa Jal talking about his creation and about resurrection and accountability this concludes uh, this set of verses that address the cosmic signs which Allah Azza wa listed for the Quraysh in order to address them logically in a way which they cannot refuse or deny. We conclude with this and in the following session we will address again the day of resurrection Subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu